Uh, okay, so welcome to part six, the last part of this tutorial series. Um, I'm going to show you in this tutorial, the last one I showed you how to make flat bases for 3D printing. In this one I'm going to show you how to deal with uh, overhangs, which is another problem you can run into for 3D printing. So I'm just going to create sort of an overhang. If I was going to print this from the flat base to the top, then something like this would be an overhang and see it's even kind of skewed sideways. This way is probably okay, but this part here is going to be trouble. So um, one thing we can do is we can go to the selection tool and I'll show you, we, we need to select a little bit carefully. I'm going to select a bit on the bottom here and I'm going to select right underneath it uh, another piece. And those two are lined up. Not at all. So let's try it from this angle. Um, we want to get them right underneath each other because we don't want to create another overhang. Okay, so now we go and modify selection, smooth boundary, and that's going to just smooth those boundaries and make them kind of circular, nice and clean. Now we go edits and we go to bridge handle. And what that's going to do is going to create a tube between those two selections. So it only works with two selections. But you see now I've got a sort of strut underneath this overhang. Um, and now I can hit A to accept that and click cancel out of the selection and you see I've kind of improved the situation here. Now this still might not be printable. You might want to s in here uh, you know make it a bit rounder. So this is a part maybe you'd cut this this strut out afterwards or something like that. Um, what we can do though is we can remember I said in the volume brush I said brush mode D1 was good for kind of filling in. It's kind of a fill brush. Um, so you can do that. You just go underneath and kind of, you know, paint in some support um, until you feel like the angles are okay, um, that you're going to have enough support underneath for this part. Um, so that, that fill brush is, is good, you know, if you have really, really slight overhangs, you know, something like this, uh, maybe you don't want to go in there and actually add a strut. You can just use that D1 brush um, and go and look from the side. You can even make it really small and just kind of scribble from the side uh, to make a support for it. If you turn up the strength, you can sort of make it come out faster. And so that might be a bit easier to cut out afterwards if you need to do some cutting. Okay, so um, I'm just going to show you one more thing. Uh, in these examples that everything has is, is basically worked really well and the model's been watertight the whole time. But a lot of times um, in your, you know, if you import a scan or, or even just using mesh mix or some of the tools will fail sometimes or introduce errors. Like this handle tool sometimes will leave a little hole at near the base and the same with the drop. The part drops can leave holes sometimes. So uh, you can detect where the holes are by running the inspector tool. Uh, and the inspector tool will point out, like, there's a hole here if I make some more, um, you know, even really little ones that you might not notice. There's just one face missing there, but the inspector will point it out. So, it, well, the stick is going through the model, but it's telling you there's three problems. And so what then you can do is you can go through and you can click on those, these balls. So if I click this one, left click, it fix that hole. Um, I'll left click this one, it fix that hole. Um, there's a button up here, Auto Repair All, that will automatically repair all of them, but unless you have like hundreds, it's better to kind of go one by one because you can see what happens. And one thing you can do um, is if if you want to manually fix it, you can right click on that ball and that'll select around the boundary. And now, for instance, I could run, you remember I showed you earlier on, the Erase and Fill tool, or which is you can get to by the F hotkey. Um, so you run that and that will fill the hole and you can accept and now we got rid of that hole and so at any time if you want to know is your model watertight you just run the inspector and if no balls pop up your model is watertight uh, it might have self intersections the inspector doesn't detect that right now but it is watertight uh, okay so that's the end of that tutorial that's how you can kind of use the modeling tools to deal with overhangs and fill holes and things like that in case they pop up okay that's it